Welcome back, folks, to Chicago 811. How's everybody doing? Hope you guys are doing pretty good. There's a topic that I keep forgetting to bring it up. It's about AT&T drops. Drops from the pedestal all the way to the house. And I had a lot of questions on how do you locate that drop from the house to pedestal? A lot of you guys in a lot of areas and different states might be seeing these types of pads all around the backyard. These are Charleston pads. These are the pads that the fiber optics are in, feeding the neighborhood. So in this Charleston pad, you got cables, and then you can have all the feeds coming out going to drop pads. And when you look into the drop pad, the drop pad, you'll be seeing something like this. This is the eight port drop, fiber drop. So you got you got all the connections here where it's quick play where they can plug it in and run the fiber up after drop from this drop head here. So this is the this is the feed that's coming in from the Charleston pad. From this Charleston pad you got a feed coming through here. Could be a 12 count, could be a 24 count. All depends on how many houses is AT&T is at t feeding you know if they're they can have a four port but for example we're using this uh, this eight port this eight port drop so now locators that are ex experiencing this in the backyards and seeing these drop heads and obviously there's no wire here everything's dielectric there's nothing to hook up in this drop head to locate the drops back to the house what you need to do is go to the house and when, you, when you're at the house, you see something similar to this. And you'll be like, oh, gosh, what is this? This is your drop. This is the drop. This is the fiber optics coiled up and going into the house there. This is the fiber, the sheeting going into the house there. This is the, this is the, the customer side. This is our client side. This is the at t side. So you can see right here where they peel back the fiber off this cable here. This cable right here is the cable you need. This is where your trace wire is in. The copper tiny wire is in this jacket right here. So what you guys got to do, you guys need carefully peel back this a little more and then scrape off the copper right here. So you could locate this drop back to the backyards. So you gotta be very careful. There's a slack loop here. So if you damage this fiber, the technician come, grab some slack loop, resplice it, and, and they're done. But what you need to do, you need to and find this fiber here that the technicians got peeled back from this from the sheeting here. And you need to find this jacket here. If you look inside, you see the copper. And you need to peel back the copper here. And the wire's really flimsy. So when you guys do that, you guys got to be very careful because that wire will break. And then you got to peel it again. So it's really flimsy to do. All right, folks. Please like, subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment below. Have a great day.